Hello once again. Welcome to Change is Good. My name is Brian, and looky here, we got another box of half dollars. Let's see what's inside. This one's easier to open than the last two were. The last two hunts have been pretty tough. We'll see if this one's the same. Not seeing any silver. We'll find out what's in the rolls. Let's get going. We're on roll number two. We're on the board. We got a 2002 Philadelphia NIFC. Minage of 3.1 million. Well, back to the hunt. Okay, we're on roll number three, and I have a variety. Under the scope, I have a 1984 Philadelphia half dollar. Looks rather normal from this point of view. And the way you know it's a variety, the double die, look at the bottom of the T there. It's a lot thicker in this area than it's supposed to be. Normally these serifs come down a lot lower, a little sharper. Sometimes you can mistake these with later stage dies that are all kind of puffy, but this one is not. You can also go and look at the rest of the lettering as well. I'll look at it upside down because it makes it easier to see. But the eye is also a giveaway as well. You're going to see some of the splitting there in the center. On the bottom of the eye there. This is WDDO number one, or on Friday, Vista double die number one. Pretty cool find. I, don't, I find them once in a while. You can also check the mint mark placement if you're not sure. This one's right in the right spot. All right, let's get back to the hunt and see what else we got. We're on roll number four, and we're having another find already. The 2005 Philadelphia NIFC with a mintage of 3.8 million. Kind of beat up. It's been in circulation a while. Well, let's keep getting back to the hunt. We're on roll number five, and under the scope, I've got a 1974 Denver. If you look at the lettering, you'll see how thick they are. All this is very, very thick. There's a notch here in the fore, and there's obvious splitting here in the word truss, especially. You'll see a little notch here in the upper left side of the R, notches here at the bottom right. Some obvious splitting here up through the R. The U has been doubled pretty severely, so is the S and T. This is a cherry pickers variety, FS101. You also see splitting here in the 1. And the nine here on the left, and the words in God are extremely thick. Much thicker than they're supposed to be. Pretty good variety. This is not in the best condition. It's pretty rough, to be honest with you. It's been in circulation a while, but, I mean, you, you get what you get with this hot, when you're hunting hot boxes. So, it's another find on the board. Going to keep going. Roll number 11. Under the scope, I have a regular 1972D reverse this is what the normal word stace looks like now in this example notice how much thicker the letters are and the serifs at the bottom of the s's are really really thick and rounded this is on a variety of s that's known as ddr number one ddr number two doesn't have quite as thick of serifs on this first s as this one does it's a cool variety, uh, it's a minor variety, but it's a double die reverse. It's another variety for the board. Now, we continue the hunt. I'm on roll number 21, and I've got another variety. Under the scope, I have a 1971D. And if you look, the letter I, you see here is a big notch up here on the upper right-hand side. An extra thickness here at the bottom, and a notching here on the left. The rest of the letters are also notched and extra thick. If you move the coin over to the right, you'll see splitting at the top of the U. Extra thickness on all the letters. Look at the T. There's, it's extra wide. There's extra width here on the serifs of the T. There's a big notch in the E, which you can clearly see right there. Pretty cool find. This is double die number eight in Variety Vista. 
and I'll definitely hope I find another one of those. I'm on roll number 34, and I've got another find. Another 2005 Philadelphia NIFC, minutes of 3.8 million. This is a better shape at least. Well, let's get going back to the hunt. We're on roll number 40. I've got another variety. On the scope, I have a regular 1974D. Kind of gives you an idea of what to look for versus what not to look for. This is a regular die. Notice the letters are somewhat thick, but not thick as the variety. Lettering there is also pretty thin compared to the variety. Here's a double die. Much thicker lettering, splitting, and the numbers, especially here on the one and the nine. It'll have a big notch. It's hard to see on this one, but the big notch in the four, and then all the doubling, especially here in trust, especially on the R and the U and the S. It's most obvious. This is the FS101. It's a pretty good variety. Uh, it's the second one found in this box. This is in pretty rough shape. Um, so it will be worth much more than face value, maybe a dollar or two. It's pretty rough. But it is what it is. Let's get back to the hunt. The box is done. We had a total of eight finds, three NIFCs, a 2002 Philly, two 2005 Phillies, and five double dies, a 1971D, double die number eight on Variety Vista, a 1972D, DDR number one on Variety Vista, two 1974D FS101s, and a 1984 DDO number one as well. Pretty good box. Like I always say, if you don't use a scope, you may come up empty-handed because not all boxes have silver. If you don't have a scope, you don't have silver, you get three NIFCs, and that's all you get. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and subscribe, and uh, good luck in your next hunt.